in a Mexican cave system so beautiful and hot that it is called both fairyland and hell. Scientists have discovered life trapped in crystals that could be 50,000 years old. The bizarre and ancient microbes were found dormant in caves in Nayaca, Mexico, and were able to exist by living on minerals such as iron and manganese. Penelope Boston, head of NASA's Astrobiology Institute, described it as super life when she presented the discovery on Friday at the American Association for the Advancement of Science Conference in Boston. If confirmed, the find is yet another example of how microbes can survive an extremely punishing conditions on Earth. Though it was presented at a science conference and was the result of nine years of work, the findings haven't yet been published in a scientific journal and haven't been peer-reviewed, Boston planned more genetic tests for the microbes she revived both in the lab and on site, the life forms, 40 different strains of microbes and even some viruses, are so unique that their nearest relatives are still 10% different genetically, that makes their closest relatives still pretty far away, about as far away as humans are from mushrooms. Boston said, the Naker Caves, an abandoned lead and zinc mine, are half a mile, 800 meters, deep. Before drilling occurred by a mine company, the mines had been completely cut off from the outside world. Some were as vast as cathedrals, with crystals lining the iron walls. They were also so hot that scientists had to don cheap versions of space suits to prevent contamination with outside life, and had ice packs all over their bodies, Boston said the team could only work about 20 minutes at a time before ducking to a cool room that was about 100 degrees, 38 Celsius. The age of the Naoka microbes was determined by outside experts who looked at where the microbes were located in the crystals and how fast those crystals grow. It's not the only weird life Boston is examining. She is also studying microbes commonly found in caves in the United States, Ukraine and elsewhere that eat copper sulfate and seem to be close to indestructible. Boston said it's simply another illustration of just how completely tough Earth life is.